In this video, we're going to cover 10 health benefits of something I eat every day, which is called Manuka honey. Manuka honey is a honey that's native to New Zealand, and it's a dark honey produced by bees which pollinate the flowers of the manuka bush. Now, manuka honey contains active compounds called MGO, giving its natural antimicrobial properties to the honey, and it's this that sets it apart from regular honey. So what are the 10 health benefits? Well, firstly, manuka honey can support wound healing, and it's this that it's probably best known for. Now, many medical grade wound dressings are made with manuka honey, and when applied directly to a wound, it can support the healing process and reduce pain, so much so that the US Food and Drug Administration approved it as a wound healing treatment. Now, these effects are thanks to the antimicrobial, antioxidant, and anti-inflammatory properties of manuka honey, and it's why numerous studies have demonstrated its benefits for post-surgical wound dressings. Now, a fun fact is that if you're a fan of cricket, you might remember in the 2023 Ashes series between England and Australia, the spin bowler Moen Ali had an injured finger and he was in danger of being ruled out of the series. But after he was sent a dressing impregnated with manuka honey from an NHS nurse, the wound healed extremely quickly, allowing him to take part in the rest of the games. Manuka honey is also present in this amazing hand cream called Nursum, which was created by an intensive care nurse to help with dry, cracked hands, and I've included a link to the Nursum website in the description box of this video, which might help you if you have constantly sore and cracked hands. Number two, manuka honey soothes a sore throat. Honey and lemon are age-old remedies for coughs and colds, and various clinical studies have supported their effects. For example, one study found that honey was more effective at alleviating a cough in children than over-the-counter cough suppressant medication. Now, this was followed by revised guidelines in 2018 from the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence and Public Health England to use honey to reduce the symptoms of a short-term cough. Again, using manuka honey rather than regular honey, given its antimicrobial properties, would be my suggestion. The third benefit of manuka honey is that it may support gut health. Now, manuka honey may act as a prebiotic because it's a source of a non-digestible carbohydrate that's called an oligosaccharide. Now, we can't digest these carbohydrates, but the bacteria in our guts can. Using the oligosaccharides as a food source helps levels of good bacteria, including lactobacilli, to thrive. And number four, manuka honey may soothe a gastric ulcer. Now, test tube and animal studies have demonstrated the potential for manuka honey to help protect against the damaging effects of gastric ulcers. Now, it does this in several ways. Firstly, by providing an anti-inflammatory effect. Secondly, by helping to manage infections such as H. pylori. And finally, by protecting the gut lining from damage. Fifthly, it's been suggested that manuka honey may be helpful for gastroenteritis. There is some evidence that honey, especially manuka honey, may help treat gut infections caused by bacterial strains like C. difficile. Now, one benefit is that it appears to shorten the duration of symptoms such as diarrhea. Sixthly, manuka honey may offer antiviral properties. A 2014 study of manuka honey found that in a lab setting, it efficiently inhibited influenza viruses, and another test tube study found that it had significant activity against shingles. However, more research, including human trials, are needed before we can draw any firm conclusions about this particular benefit. The seventh potential benefit is that it might be useful for antibiotic resistant infections. Now, antimicrobial resistance is an increasing worry, and for this reason, alternative therapies are constantly being sought. In 2020, a study investigating the application of medical grade honey as an approach to treating multi drug resistant infections showed significant promise, but again, more studies would be needed to back up these early promising results. The eighth benefit is that it might help the buildup of dental plaque. Now, although honey might seem like a slightly odd food to encourage for dental health, it's the antibacterial properties of manuka honey that means it's not associated with dental cavities. Now, studies suggest that these antibacterial properties might be useful in minimizing the buildup of dental plaque and, as a result, reducing the likelihood of gingivitis or other periodontal diseases. In particular, manuka honey inhibits the growth of less favorable oral bacteria. Ninthly, it may help manage cystic fibrosis. Now, the potent antibacterial properties of manuka honey also appear to augment the effects of antibiotics in cystic fibrosis patients who've got an upper respiratory infection. Now, it does this by inhibiting the growth of certain bacteria, and in doing so, it might be a useful treatment strategy for the future. 
The tenth potential benefit is that it might be effective against inflammatory skin conditions. Manuka honey is now being trialed for its effect on other skin disorders, including rosacea and acne. So now we've covered ten of the potential health benefits that Manuka honey has, what should you look for when you're purchasing it? Well, when you're buying it, you first of all need to check that it's come from New Zealand, and you should check the MGO rating, which is also known as the Unique Manuka Factor, or UMFTM. The higher the number, the better in terms of nutritional benefits, but again, the more expensive the product will be. I personally use 100 MGO rating Manuka honey, mainly because it's one of the cheaper options and it's good for day-to-day -day use, but again, this is all going to be down to personal preference. In terms of a healthy portion of Manuka honey, well, how much do you want to be taking a day? Well, a maximum of two teaspoons a day is a good portion size of Manuka honey, and whilst it's got many impressive health benefits, it's still high in sugar, so if you've got things like diabetes, you should be careful when using it. It's also important that children under the age of one don't have honey in their diet. If you're using Manuka honey as part of a balanced diet, try drizzling it over porridge or natural yogurt. I hope you found the video useful. For more information, check out the links in the description box, and please leave me a comment if you've got any questions or would like to share your own experiences of using Manuka honey. Bye.